Hello coders. Today we're going to be installing NPM. This is the first tutorial in the JavaScript NPM tutorial series for beginners. And we're going to be using this Mac mini that I've just SSH'd into here. But you can use these commands in different operating systems such as Linux. Now, what we're going to be using is we're actually going to be using a tool called NVM to install NPM. So don't get those two confused. The reason why we're using NVM, which stands for Node Version Manager, is it allows us to change the different versions of Node that we're using. I am a freelance uh, web and mobile applications developer. It's very handy for me to have multiple versions of my tooling available. Also, if you're using applications such as Accelerator, Titanium, and all of that stuff, they may require you to have certain versions of Node installed on your system. So it's very easy and handy to switch between the two using NVM. Now you can get NVM through GitHub, and I'll leave links in the uh, show notes below. On the GitHub repository uh, installation notes, there is a command that you need to copy and paste into your terminal, uh, which is this command here. This does a curl request to install.sh. It's within the uh, the GitHub content of creation ix nvm version, and I'm at the present time. It's version zero. 33.11 install.sh and we're piping that to bash. So once you've added that to your terminal, press enter. Now that's going to clone that into your uh, home space on your system. If I was just, just to do an ls uh, and then of the home of NVM, for instance, we can actually see the contents here. That is what we've literally just cloned into our system. And then we've ran that install script. So what we're going to do now is just configure this to be set up on our system. Because if you scroll up a little bit here, you can see uh, that what it's doing is it's compressing and cleaning up the Git repository. And then in my instance, it's saying profile not found, uh, tried bash RC, bash profile, and the Z SHRC, as well as profile itself. Um, and it hasn't found them on my system. This is a very kind of new Mac mini here. So what I need to do is create these things myself um, and then add these these uh, lines to those files or to one of those files. Now, this is a Mac. It's quite different perhaps from other things. So I'm going to use a profile. You might be using a bash RC script. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a touch of uh, profile like so. So that's just going to create an empty file called profile. Let's press enter here and let's just cat that out just to ensure that that is empty. So profile, it is empty, completely empty. And I'm just going to clear down the screen and I'm going to simply run that whole command again, which is the curl thing. Let's run that again. It says NVM is already installed. It's now appending that to the profile file, the dot profile file, the file that I have literally just created. Um, it's saying that I can close and reopen my terminal to start using NVM or run the following to run it now. Now, if I did NVM, for instance, I've got N NVRAM, which is an application that you probably won't have on your distribution of whatever you're using. Um, but what I can do is I can either run these two commands, so I can run an export, or I could just come out, exit my shell, come back into my shell, and those settings would be set because they are in my profile. If I was to um, clear that down, do a cat of profile, so dot profile, whoops, like so, we can see that those things have actually been added, but what we need to do is we need to export these variables to the current shell. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this. So let's just run export in here, and we're just going to run this one too. So now if I did NV, 
and then press tab a few times, we now have a load of output for NVM, Node Version Manager. Now, if you get any kind of uh, issues when installing NVM, do check out the readme file in the link provided down below in the in the show notes, uh, because there it, it shows you how you can debug and, and work th through a couple of issues. But now we have NVM. Let's just uh, clear that down. Give some room. If I did NVM hyphen hyphen version, we can see that the version that we have is 033.11. And if we did NVM list, we can see that we don't have anything assigned yet. Now at this point, I need to actually install uh, Node or if I wanted to IOJS. Of course, I can install different versions of Node or IOJS. That's the whole beauty of NVM. It means that we can have multiple versions of Node on our system and we can flick between one and the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to install Node. So we do NVM install Node and then we press enter. So what that's going to do is it's going to download the latest uh, Node version that it's got. So in this case, it's version 11.2.0. It's downloading all of that stuff from nodejs.org. Um, it checks the checksum. It's then creating an alias. So we now have the default alias to that version. If I did NVM list again, we should see a slight change. This is going to show that we have a pointer to that version and the default is of that version too. We also have the ability to change any kind of LTS long-term support releases. So for example, uh, we could do uh, boron, we could do carbon and so on and so forth. So let's just change the version that we're running. In this case, let's do NVM use and then copy boron. So LTS forward slash boron like so, and then press enter. Ah, so now it's saying that I need to install LTS Boron. That's fine. Let's do an NVM install of, of that. So now it's downloading that version, which is version 6.14.4. So that downloads. And then once that's done, it checks the checksum and if and then it sets that particular version to what you've just installed. So we've now installed version 6.14.4 and beforehand we had 11.2.0. So if I did NVM list, we should see that we have um, both 11.2.0 and 6.14.4. And the pointer is at this version here, which is version 6.14.4. Now, at this point, we can use the different versions that we've got. This is the beauty, like I said, of NVM. So, for example, I could do NVM use and then use V6 14.4 like so. And then if I did NVM list, and now we can see that we've actually changed it to that version that we're using. But of course, 6.14.4 was what we had originally. Let's just change that uh, to be version 11.2, sorry, point zero. There we go. And now let's do an NVM list. There we go. So now we've changed to that version of Node. It's very, very handy uh, when you're working on multiple versions of Node, um, when you've got perhaps a Node that is required for an application that you're running, maybe it's uh, Accelerator, like I've mentioned, or whether you've got multiple projects and you need to support multiple projects. I do this uh, when I'm running this stuff in Docker, even though there's only one application in the Docker container at one time, I just find NVM a very easy way of installing Node. Now we've installed Node, we also have the ability to uh, access NPM as well. Let's just clear down that screen and let's do NP and then M, do a version, and we can see that we have the version uh, 6.4.1. So installing Node via NVM, we have the ability now to use NPM against that particular version of Node. So let's do NPM and let's just do hyphen hyphen help. 
and we can see all the bits and pieces for the help of NPM. And I'll be working through a couple of these things, um, as well as how to install uh, packages and dependencies and how to create our own uh, package as well throughout this tutorial course. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to actually search for a dependency to install um, within our NPM environment that we've got set up here. If you found this tutorial useful, then do show your appreciation, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions for this particular course or any other course that I might do in the future, then put your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.